Alright, for this video we're going to be discussing petroleum, its history, the good, the bad, and the ugly, from its first use to the replacements of this fuel by modern alternative energy sources, due to long-term drastic effects and drawbacks of this resource. Oil was first written about 4,000 years ago by ancient Persians, discovering it in the bed of the Euphrates River. Euphrates River using for med medicinal purpose and lighting benefits. Earliest East culture use was the Chinese drilling it with wooden drill bit tip bamboo sticks in 34 AD, using the oil as means to evaporate brine and make salt. First legitimate Western culture use wasn't until the early 1500s, when the people of modern day Poland used it to light street lamps. Then oil became the fuel for the industrialization and modernization in late 1700s, first starting with England, then spreading to the United States of America. How do we get oil simplified? The process of obtaining oil is a relatively simple one. There are two structures of an oil rig, a steam injector and an oil producer. The steam injector pushes steam into the ground next to where the oil is located, putting massive pressure on the oil in the ground. Then it gets forced up the oil producer structure and harvested from there. From this point, the oil then gets refined into oil products such as gasoline, diesel, and plastic over 6,000 items can be made from oil. States that drill and produce oil. America is a well-known country for buying up all the oil they possibly can before even drilling on our own soil, which is pretty smart if you think about it, but no nonetheless, we still do a drill a miscellaneous amount of oil. The top three oil producing states for the USA are Texas, Alaska, and California, which produce an average of 75 million barrels of oil per, per year for each state. If you look at the chart about U.S. gross crude oil supply, you'll see how much crude oil we use from domestic drilling compared to the amount that is actually exported. Why oil? If oil has drastic negative long-term effects, why do we use it? Well, a world without oil would be a world without plastic, combustion automobiles, and machinery, and we wouldn't be where we are today technologically-wise. If not for oil, everything from package ma packaging material, toys, containers, styrofoam, tools, sanitation equipment, the effectiveness of oil is the main reason we use it, because it does do massive amounts of work in a short period of time. Why not oil? Oil is a primary contributor of environmental problems today. When oil is combusted, it releases CO2 in the atmosphere, tainting it, which causes global warming due to the greenhouse effect. The top CO2 emissions country in the world is the United States of America. We are a huge part of the problem. Joint effort with other countries in the future will prevent long-term negative effects. Rising sea levels. One effect from oil that our generation may live to see is the rising sea levels. This is very important because the polar ice caps are melting slowly but surely. It is scientifically proven. This adds water to the oceans, so islands, coastal cities, and towns, and land at the ocean's border will all disappear underwater. Oil substitutes. In this day and age, we have developed and are improving upon our alternative green energy producing technology. A primary example would have to be solar panels. Oil is old sunlight stored in the earth while enough sunlight hits the earth in one day to power every city in the world for two years, with no drastic long-term effect. Solar power panels mimic and synthesize years with no drastic long-term effect. Solar panels mimic what plants do with sunlight known as photosynthesis to result product is energy and not oxygen and windmills use wind to spin a turbine generating electricity so why tra why transitioning from oil to clean energy is so hard after inventing and improving green technology wouldn't it seem to be logical to take our money and resources out of oil and try to fully transition to cheap clean efficient energy that's the thing oil is cheap I mean, the clean energy is cheap. Out of the top five richest companies in the world, four are crude oil companies, with trillions of dollars tied up in the industry with over a couple million jobs. If each citizen could generate their own electricity, that would pull all electric companies and billions of dollars will be thrown down the drain, along with a lot of jobs. The country's economy is almost solely based on business. Today's rich corporations make it sound impossible to adapt their industry with technology, when in reality it would just cost them investment money and brain power. Ideas for energy for the future. 
There are some good theories for large-scale green energy production, such as harnessing the kinetic energy of the tides generating massive amounts of electricity, or spinning giant space turbine required very little energy to do and it produces a massive amounts. We will one day make it to that point.